Jesus Christ is able. Jesus Christ is at the answer. Jesus Christ is the solution. We worship you, Jesus. We have confidence. Just raise our voice, begin to glorify the Lord. We worship you, Jesus. Our confidence is in you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. We adore Jesus Christ. We glorify Jesus Christ. We magnify Jesus Christ. What a wonderful God we serve. His name is Jesus. Our peace in Jesus. Our, just, just say after me. Just repeat after me. My peace in Jesus. My victory in Jesus. My breakthrough in Jesus. My testimony in Jesus. My good health in Jesus. My sound mind in Jesus. The power of God is Jesus Christ alive in me and well. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. My confidence. Just keep confessing. Just declare after me. My confidence is in the name of the Lord. My victory is in the name of the Lord. My breakthrough is in the name of the Lord. February, hear the voice of the Lord. My confidence is in the name of the Lord. My breakthrough is in the name of the Lord. Just raise our voice, begin to declare. Just speak the word with boldness. In the name of Jesus, your breakthrough is in the name of the Lord. Your testimony is in the name of the Lord. Just confess after me. My breakthrough is in the name of Jesus. My healing is in the name of Jesus. My power is in the name of Jesus. My security is in the name of Jesus. Raise our voice, begin to worship the Lord. Father, I give you thanks for this beautiful day. Celebrating the greatness of God in February. I just speak over your life today. February is a month with fabulous testimonies. Let God arise in your life. Let God arise in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, February, let God arise in your family. Let God arise in your job. Let God arise on your behalf. February, your case is settled. February, the situation is in control. February, we speak in the name of Jesus Christ. Long-awaited dreams. Let, oh my God. Let God begin to move across the continents from Tico, from Boya, from Yaoundé, from Lagos, from Dusseldorf, from Paris, from Long, anywhere around the world. Let from New Mexico around the world, let grace visit you in the name of Jesus Christ. This is a season. This is a new month with new grace. Hallelujah, Lord. We're going to spend time study today and pray. It's going to be an awesome month. Just say after me, February is going to be an awesome month for me and my family. Raise your voice and declare. February is going to be an awesome month for you and your family. We speak it by faith. Just declare the word. February is going to be an awesome month for you and your ministry, for you and your family, for you and, and your city. We speak today. The grace of God in February will connect with every covenant child of God. The world might have darkness, but the light will shine on your path. In Jesus' mighty name, the light will shine on your path. February is a month of favor in your life. February, grace is available for you. February is an awesome month for you. In Jesus' mighty name. Please turn to Genesis 13, please. Genesis 13, please. Genesis 13, verse 1. And Abraham went up. Just say after me, and Abraham went up. Put your name in the place of Abraham. Just put your name there. And Angelina went up. And Cynthia went up. As Miriam is going up. As Pastor Bayang. And just put your name there. You are not going down. You are going up. And Abraham went up. Just declare in the name of Jesus. Nothing can pull me down in February. I am rising up by the power of the prophetic word. I am rising up. As Abraham went up, I cannot go down in February. Raise your voice and pray. I speak to as many at the sound of my voice by the prophet, prophetic word today. I speak to you. You might be tied down in the past months. But God is saying to you, it's time to rise. 
You are going up in the name of Jesus. Your family, your business, your job. You are not going down. You are not sinking in the sand. The power of the grace of God is picking you up in this moment. Just say, oh Lord, I believe your word. This is my season. This is my hour. This is my month to rise up. I'm going up in every area of my life. Just confess it. In February, I am going up in every area of my life. Raise your voice and declare. I speak in the name of Jesus Christ. As many watching me in Africa, in Asia, in Europe, in Middle East, in America, around the world. Hear the voice of the Lord because of the grace of God, because of the blood of Jesus, because of faith in Jesus Christ. No devil can cast you down. No power will pull you downward. You are not sinking. You are rising up. Just say after me, I'm not falling. I am rising up. I'm going higher. I'm going upward. I am increasing. Receive this grace. Receive this grace. By the power of the Holy Spirit, no devil will cause you to go down in Jesus' mighty name. So Genesis 13 verse 1, And Abraham went up, now he went up out of Egypt. He went up out of Egypt. Just say the name of Jesus. Oh my God. Hey, listen carefully. I just hear by the Holy Spirit, your Egypt experience has expired. Just say after me, my Egypt experience has expired. Your unwanted situation has expired. There is an end of that Egypt condition. There is an end of every unwanted situation. Just say, oh Lord, today the unwanted situation in my life is over in Jesus' name. Raise your voice and declare. You are coming out of every Egypt in your life. You are coming out of every bondage in your life. You are coming out of every unwanted situation in your family. Just keep declaring. Just speak by faith. I'm coming out of every unwanted situation in my life. Raise your voice and pray. I speak to the nations of the world right now because of Christ in you, because of faith in you, because of the word of God in you, because of the anointing in you. Today you are coming out of the Egypt situation. That Egyptian situation cannot bind you anymore. No bondage of Egypt in your life. In Jesus' mighty name. Now listen carefully. This is for you. This word is for you individual. That unwanted situation in your life has expired by the grace of God. No more night in Egypt. Egypt is behind you. Just say after me, Egypt is behind me. Unwanted condition is behind me. Bondage is behind me. Walking without profit is behind me. Painful situation is behind me. Captivity is behind me. I speak in the name of Jesus Christ. No more night in Egypt. No more night in unwanted situation. The grace of God is upon you. You are coming out of that situation. Can we do some deliverance? Just say the name of Jesus. I and my family are coming out of every Egyptian situation. We are coming out of every unwanted situation. Raise our voice and pray. I speak in the name of Jesus. No bondage can tie you. No fear can tie you. No sickness can tie you. No debts can tie you. Every unwanted case in your life. It is over. No more night in Egypt. In Jesus' mighty name. You are coming out. Just think of the day that Joshua led the children of Israel from the wilderness, cross over Jordan to the promised land. What a celebration. What a celebration. I mean, they look behind. They saw 40 years of toiling in the wilderness. But finally, they crossed into that prophesied promised land. Just say the name of Jesus. February, I declare today, my promises are going to manifest. No more Egypt in my life. I'm stepping into my promises. Raise your voice and declare. This is the season for your prophecy to begin to manifest. This is the season for the favor to begin to manifest. This is the season for the greatness to begin to manifest. This is the season for every blessedness upon your life. That, that blessing will show. 
your favor will show the grace will show just say after me in the name of jesus in my office the blessing will show in my family the favor will show from the first of february my favor will show in jesus mighty name you are no more in egypt you are no more in bondage you are no more in fear you are no more in oppression. You are no more afraid. You are no more in a water situation. Hallelujah, Lord. Genesis 13, verse 1, please. And Abraham went up out of Egypt. Now listen. He and his wife and all that he had. This was family deliverance. Everybody in the family of Lot came out of Egypt. We are praying today, not just you alone. You, your children, your grandchildren, we are praying today, no plague can touch you. No sickness can touch you. No attack can touch you. All you and your family, you are, you are coming out of all of these virus issues, nothing missing. Raise our voice, begin to pray. I speak today as Abraham and his wife, and Lord and the wife and all the children and the servants, they came out of Egypt protected, safe and sound. God Almighty, the same God of grace, the God of power, the God of the miraculous will pull you and your family out every month with safety, with protection, with security. You are secured. Everybody in your family is alive and well. Just say after me, everybody in my family, at home and abroad, in February, you are safe and sound. Raise your voice and pray. I declare the name of Jesus Christ as Abraham came out of Egypt, nothing missing. I speak today that the same grace of God in February, nothing missing in your life, no one under attack, no one sick, no one miss a job. We pray for the same protection, the same God of safety. Let God keep you safe and sound and blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Verse 1 says, And Abraham went up out of Egypt, he and his wife, and all that they had, and lot with him, into the south now verse 2 please underline verse 2 believe that verse your mind may not understand it but believe it in your heart and it says and abraham was rich in cattle in silver and in gold it's a simple short verse can you put your name in the place of abraham just put your name in the place of abraham we are with abraham's children by faith we have the same faith of Abraham. So place your name in the place of Abraham and read that verse. Just read the verse. And the tower was very rich in cattle, in silver and gold. And well mission was very rich in cattle, in silver and gold. Your mind may not understand it. Let your heart believe it. That February, we're speaking today, we declare the word of God, you are not going to live in, in debt, in credit card. We speak that you are rich in cattle, in silver and gold. Raise your voice and declare. I speak in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless Abraham with cattle, with silver and gold. I pray for every child of God at the sound of my voice. We connect with the same grace in the life of Abraham. We receive the same favor. Receive the same favor. February, let the door of provision, silver and gold and cattle manifest in your life. Let God connect you to the wealth in the nations in the name of Jesus Christ. The wealth of Egypt is coming unto you. Do you believe that Abraham left Egypt? The king gave each Abraham cattle, silver, and gold. Now, many believers don't believe in prosperity and God's blessing. But I live my life every day by divine provision. Let's pray for February. Let God provide for you from the field, from the cattle of the field, from the silver, from the gold, from whatever means, let God surprise you, let God visit you with the riches of the Gentiles. Raise your voice and pray. I speak to as many as the sound of my voice, let there be a miracle provision. Yes, let there be a miracle provision. 
Let there be a surprise provision. Let there be a, a, a hallelujah provision. Let God of, of supply, the God of cattle, the God of silver, the heavenly God that provides for his children. Let this February be a major month to see the prosperity, to see the goodness of the Lord, to see the financial favor in Jesus' mighty name. Just declare today, say February, I connect with the same blessing of Abraham. I declare financial favor for you, your family, your friends, and the church of God. Raise our voice and pray. We speak in the name of Jesus Christ and across the nations of the world, we speak financial favor. For those who are praying for their school fees, receive financial favor. For those who are praying for their, for their tickets, receive financial favor. For those who are praying for business establishment, receive financial favor. For those who are praying for their mortgage and to buy new homes, receive financial favor. For those who are praying for, for life, for provision, receive financial favor. Let the same God that blessed Abraham with cattle, with silver and gold, let it manifest in your life. I connect you to the same grace upon Abraham, the same grace in well mission. I connect you to the God of provision in Jesus' mighty name. Receive in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Lord. Genesis 13 verse 4 and he went on on the line the word and he went on now can you just, can you just say can you just put your, your, your name in the place of Abraham I am going on I am moving forward that's the same and he moved forward just say after me in the name of Jesus I am moving forward I am going on my journey I am moving forward. Nothing can tie me in the same situation. Raise a voice and pray. No power will tie you in the same situation. You cannot stay in the same condition. You are, in, you are growing. You are advancing in your life. You are moving on in your journey. In the name of Jesus Christ, your past and your present is different. Your present is better than your past. Now some people are not moving forward. It's like things are getting bad. But for you, child of God, prophesy the word of God. Speak the grace of God. Speak the power of God. Speak the miracles of God. You are moving forward in this moment. Raise your voice and declare, I come by this anointing to as many watching me in Africa, in Asia, in Europe, in America. Hear the voice of the Lord. No condition of your country will tie you down. No condition in your job will tie you down. No condition even in your church will tie you down. By this grace, you are growing, you are moving forward. By this grace, you are increasing. By this grace, you are, you are promoted. By this grace, you are being advanced. By this grace, you are taking a new step. Just say after me, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I take a new step. Oh, I like this. Hallelujah, Lord. You know, hey, just, you see the crowd behind me? That is a crowd. We had a conference in Tico. Beautiful place. I love people of Tico. You have blessed me. I'll be, I'll be there soon, okay? Just say after me. Say in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I am moving forward, never backward. February, I am moving forward in my life. Raise your voice and pray. I speak in the name of Jesus Christ. The grace of God is taking you forward every month. You are going forward and buying the power of the enemy. You cannot stay in the same situation. I bind stagnation in your job. February is a month of advancement. A second month will speak double increase, double advancement. Take your step of faith. Just say after me, I'm taking my steps of faith. I'm moving forward in the name of Jesus. One more time. I'm taking my step of faith. I'm moving forward in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't now listen. It doesn't depend on your present situation. It doesn't depend on your, how much money you have. It depends in the faith you have inside you. The faith there is faith inside you. Every human being has faith. Today, put that faith in God. Just say the name of Jesus. 
before the end of February, I, there must be evidence of a, a change for good in my life. Abraham moved on. Verse 3, please. Genesis 13, verse 3. And he went on his journey. And Abraham went on his journey. He had a destination. He was advancing towards his goal. Just say after me, I am moving forward towards my goal. I must achieve the goal in my heart in February. Raise your voice and pray. Receive the grace to attend to the goals of your heart. Receive the grace to accomplish that goal in your heart. Receive the grace for that dream to come to pass. Receive the grace to realize the goal. You must reach that destination. Abraham was in a journey. He refused to sit down in a stone and spend hours. He was pressing on towards his goal. I'm praying for you today that February will not be a time to sit down and complain. February is a time to take new steps. And I pray for you today for the boldness to take that step. For the grace of God for that direction. To pursue, to overtake and recover all. Just say, I pursue, I overtake, I recover all. I pursue, I overtake, I recover all. I'm moving forward. Now, in your ministry, move forward. In your family, move forward. In your job, move forward. In your studies, move forward. Let nothing tie you down. Just say after me, the powers that tied my forefathers down cannot tie me. I am moving forward in life. The powers that tied your countrymen cannot tie you. You are moving forward in life. Raise your voice and pray. We speak in the name of Jesus Christ. The forces that tied your family cannot tie you down. The battles and the powers that time men of your culture cannot tie you down. It's your season to move forward in life. I just come by faith to lay my hand on you by faith in the name of Jesus. Every entanglement that weigh you down, we cast it out. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything in the past that is a hindrance in your family, you overcome it in Jesus' mighty name. You are going forward until you will achieve your goal. Just say after me, I will achieve my purpose in February. Just confess it. I will, by the grace of God, achieve my purpose in February. Raise your voice and pray. I declare for as many as the sound of my voice, those in Africa, those in Asia, those in Europe, those in America here, by the grace of God, you will achieve your purpose in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, our confidence is in the name of Jesus Christ. By the grace of God, we achieve our purpose in February in Jesus' mighty name. Just say after me, no obstacle, no stumbling block will stop me on the way. Just say the name of Jesus, February, no obstacles, no stumbling blocks will stop my journey into my purpose. Raise your voice and pray. I declare today, no stumbling block, no obstacles, no human barrier, no demon barrier, no cultural barrier will stop your journey in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, by the grace of God, every hindrance out of your way, every stumbling block out of your way, the challenges that weigh you down in the past year, out of your way, you are pressing on, keep pressing on. Take your step of faith. Keep moving forward. You cannot stay down. Advance in Jesus' name. Genesis 13, place, verse 3. And he went on his journeys. I like the word journeys with S. And he went on his journeys from the south even to Bethel. Joseph Bethel. Bethel means the house of God. Bethel means the presence of God. Bethel means the place of my covenant. Bethel was a place that Abraham built an altar. Bethel was a place that, that Jacob, no Jacob, anointed a stone in Bethel. It's a place of my covenant, it's a house of God. So can you see today, Abraham was moving towards Bethel, the place of his covenant, the place of the house of God. We pray today 
that by the grace of God in the month of February you, are, you will encounter God in his presence that the place of your covenant the place of the covenant the place of the altar the better the place of the house of God let's pray just activate just say oh Lord I activate my covenant in the presence of God I activate my covenant with God the presence of God upon my life raise our voice and pray I'm praying for a new, fresh anointing upon your life in this season as you pursue the goal of your life, that better experience, the place of your covenant, as you renew your covenant with God, as you spend time in battle, as you spend time in the presence of God, church of God, it's time to spend time in battle. Renew your vow before God. Better the place of my vow. Better the place of my covenant. Better the house of God. Better the place of the presence of God. Let God's presence visit you. I feel the anointing here. Let God's presence visit you. Just say, oh Lord, my covenant with you cannot be broken. I welcome fresh presence of God. Raise your voice and declare. The covenant you have with God cannot be broken. Let there be a fresh, a fresh anointing upon your life. Let there be a fresh anointing. Just say, oh Lord, baptize me anew in, your, in battle. Visit me anew in battle. In the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. In the presence of God, there is revival. Let there be revival in your life. Let it be revival in February. Let it be breakthrough in your life. Let it be a new assurance in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive a new battle experience. Let's pray for a new battle experience. Just say after me, oh Lord, I want a new battle experience. Can you imagine when Jacob was running from Esau and he came to Bethel and he slept, he put his head on a stone and he saw, and he saw a vision. He saw angels ascending and descending on a ladder, a ladder from earth to heaven and God was upon the ladder there. Can you imagine? So Jacob saw the glory of God and he saw angels ascending and descending. And Jacob made a vow in that place to give his tithes to God. Let's pray today for a new encounter. Say, oh Lord, I want a fresh encounter. I want to see you. I want to see your glory. In this month of February, oh God, I want a new encounter. I want a new revival. Raise our voice, begin to pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. February. The time to renew your vow. Joseph, February, the time to renew my vow with God. February, a time for encounter with God. February, the place, a time to meet God one on one. Raise your voice and pray. Let the month of February be a month of encountering the glory of God. Let us meet God again at Bethel. Bethel, the place of my covenant. Better the place of my vow. Let God visit us again in the place of battle. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, you will see the hand of God. You will see the glory. Just say after me. Say, oh Lord, in the month of February, I will see the face of God. I will see the power of God. I will see the hand of God. I will see the presence of God and dwell in battle. Oh my God. Unto the place of the altar which he had made there at the first. And there Abraham called on the name of the Lord. So, so Abraham went to Bethel, the place of the altar, where he has met God before, and there he worshipped God. What encounter. What a blessing. We are praying today, for order to pray with any in the next one minute. Just say, oh, say after me, say, oh Lord, Something new will happen in my life that will cause me to worship you in another dimension. Say, oh Lord, in the month of February, something new will happen in my life that will cause me to worship you in another dimension. Abraham was back in Bethel again, a place of the altar, a place he has raised an altar to worship God. And then he worshiped God again in a second degree. We are praying for the revival of worship. Let God do something in your life that will cause you to dance in the house of God. Just say, oh Lord, in the month of February, 
I will dance in your house. I will sing in your house. I will sing in my job site. I will sing. I will be driving singing because of the greatness of God. I will see the power of God again in battle. Raise your voice and pray. I declare to them for as many are the sound of my voice, let the God of battle, the God of miracle, the God of encounter, the God of the covenant, the God that respect worship, let God meet you one on one. I just pray for this encounter, one on one encounter with God in the month of February, one on one meeting with God in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive the grace today in Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah, Lord. Now let's end here, please. In verse 5, please. And Lord also, which went with Abraham, had flogged and hid and tent. And the land was not able to bear them that they might dwell together, for their substance was great that they could not dwell together. Can you imagine? God bless Abraham, God bless Lord with so much substance. So much cattle, so much servant. Can you imagine Abraham had 318 servants in his house to take care of his cattle? That was serious. 318 staff that Abraham had. Wow, that was serious. Let's pray for February. Just say the name of Jesus. The blessing will begin in another flow. Say, in the name of Jesus, let the blessing flow. Let my favor flow in February. Raise your voice and pray. In the name of Jesus, let your blessing flow. Let your favor flow. In the name of Jesus, let the blessing flow. Let the favor flow in February. Let the north and south and east and west respond to you with a blessing and favor. In the name of Jesus Christ, just say after me, February, I see blessing, I see favor, just confess it, February, I see blessings, I see favor, let it flow in my life, February, let the blessing flow, let the favor flow, whether you are watching me right now in Africa, in the village there, let the blessing flow, let the favor flow, those in Europe, those in Asia, my friends in Philippines, let the blessing flow, let the favor flow in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, lay your hand in your body, please. We are praying for you, your family, your friends, and your church. That February, let the blessing flow. I just sense that anointing here. Somebody have, somebody is getting a testimony right today. Yes, I mean today, after the prayer line, somebody is getting a testimony. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the favor flow. Let the blessing flow. I speak today, I prophesy to as many at the sound of my voice in all the channel for those in the radio, those on me social media platforms, and those in the prayer line, in the name of Jesus Christ, by this anointing, let the blessing flow. Let the favor flow. Let your phone ring for, for a blessing. Let your phone ring for a testimony. Let your phone ring for that job. I speak today immigration favors, marriage favors, business favors, engagement favors, travel favors. Be let God move in the ministry in the name of Jesus Christ. No blockages in your life. As God bless Abraham, as God bless Lot, let the same God that will believe in him bless you. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, walk in this favor in February in Jesus' mighty name. World Mission International Worship Center is dedicated to healing broken hearts, giving hope, and saving souls through the love of God. Located in Lanham, Maryland, we are called to create a loving and caring community for all people. And we are committed to see you grow your faith in the Word of God and to see you happy and blessed in life. We are strategically positioned in Maryland at such a time like this to be available to provide counseling, guidance, and praying, and believing God for a fresh move of God as never seen before. Our heart's desire is to see all men come to the knowledge of the saving grace of Jesus Christ. If you've been searching for a place where real people who have experienced the love and power of Jesus Christ, World Mission International Worship Center may very well be the perfect fit. You're welcome to Where Good Things Happen. We love you and are waiting for you in Jesus' name.